Hi there, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing. Today we're going to be telling you, relax. All right. Okay, now that's over with relaxing. Well, it's really hard to relax through tattooing. There's so many things going on. You're just losing your mind, right? Oh my gosh, it's the pain, the wiping, the needles moving, vibration, whatever. So, if you're an artist or if you're a client, there are various things that you should be doing or trying to be mindful of when you're, you know, getting a tattoo or in the middle of a procedure that um, can help you, you know, kind of just try to relax. So, as the, uh, as the client, we should probably start out with this one, right? So, for clients, it's pretty easy. The easiest way to relax is going to be your, your preparation, right? So, if you get a good night's rest, if you make sure that you had a meal, you know, three hours or so before you actually come into to get your uh, tattoo if you want to bring you know some juice or candy or something like this something that just kind of keep you going that's that's great um, the other way that we can do this if you're a client is we want to try to figure out what type of person you are when you want to relax right so we've got three types of people on average right that use different like t techniques we'll just think like you went to work you had a rough day you come home and you know you want to you want to just relax. So what do you do? So we have to identify those things, right? Um, let's just do this because I can't, you know, I just can't multitask. So, and this is really early in the morning because I woke up with my baby standing over top of me going, hi, daddy, and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Anyways, so whatever type of client you are, so let's go over these. So the first one's going to be a visually acute person. So if you're the type of person that comes home and you want to relax. You put on the TV, movie, you read a book, you do something that is engaging those visual parts of your brain, and it helps you just to calm down and be a visually acute person. So when you go to get a tattoo, find something to do with your eyes, right? If you're just sitting there when someone's tattooing you and you have nothing to look at, the person isn't talking to you either, and you're just sitting there, the time is gonna stretch, right? And it's gonna start feeling worse and worse quicker because you don't have a way just to let your brain start to turn off. So it's really gonna pay attention to what's going on a bit more than it probably should make it so you can't sit this long, right? So think about that, bring in a, a tablet, laptop, you know, watch on your phone, get something so you can keep yourself occupied. I have a lot of um, my visually acute of clients just read books while we're doing stuff, you know, we'll set up a nice little stand for them, they can turn it while we're working wherever we are and it works great. So that's number one to help you relax. Number two, if you're auditorily stimulated into relaxing, right? So this is a person, let's say you go to work, it's been a shit day, the boss has just been grinding you and you get home and you turn on the TV, but you don't watch it. You play a podcast on the drive home, you know, if you're listening to music all day long, if you're doing something that is stimulating those sound centers of your brain to where things just kind of go away, you're not even really paying attention to what you're listening to, but it helps you relax. You're gonna be that sound sensitive, auditorily acutive person, right? So when you go to do your tattoo, you should really take the time to like put in something, right, in your ears. <laughs> bring music, bring, you know, a tablet to watch the TV show where you can just sit there kind of close your eyes and listen to a podcast, something like that. That'll help you relax for the tattoo, which is going to help you be able to sit longer, right? Um, the last one is going to be a touch cute if a touch sensitive person. So I've ran into a few of these in my, in my career. And these are the people like after a busy day of work, doing the grind and all this stuff, they can't relax unless somebody's like scratching their hair, right? Or they go get a massage or they do something else where they're, they're being touched. There's a touch sensitive aspect to their person that helps them just to relax. When these people get tattoos, it's torture. <laughs> There really isn't a lot you can do to help them, you know, sit through the tattoo. So you have to, as an artist, right, you're trying to get this done as quickly as possible, as efficiently as possible, while staying in those guidelines of like what is good versus, oh my gosh, maybe this is not a good tattoo, and to get them out because as they're going through the process the tattoo, time slows, they start building up cortisol levels in their body, and the longer that you push them to sit, the worse the tattoo is going to heal and regardless of your technique or otherwise it's just not going to turn into something very good so we want to try to like stay away from that right these type of people as well are touch sensitive um or touch cutive are generally going to be like asking you about numbing creams i mean past the fear stuff these are the ones who are like no i need numbing cream you're like okay so we have a video on this and an article on the website as well maybe i'll put links in them i don't know uh in the description um we may 
Um, but these are the ones when you're gonna have to sit there and really try to leverage, okay, should they use these products? Because like I know that they're not good for the tattoo, right? Which you can learn more in the articles in the video. Um, versus they're so stressed out that that level of stress is actually greater, you know, than that value of what they're gonna get off of the, the numbing creams like causing problems, right? This is gonna cause more stress and more cortisol, really just mess up the tattoo. Maybe they should use the numbing cream just to kind of bring it back up into even. Um, anyways, this is hell. I feel bad for these people. They love getting tattoos, you know, everyone does. And when they come in and you know, you just do one line and they look at you and they're like, uh oh, that was a bad idea. You're like, you're touch sensitive. Another tricks past numbing creams and stuff. If you are touch sensitive, bring someone in with you where you can hold their hand, right? Have somebody come in and brush your hair. I've had people do that as well. Just do something to help you just chill out. Transfer your attention to another part of your body when stuff is happening and you'll be great. Touch sensitive people also are amazing to do multi-person sets on, right? So if we do four people tattooing one person at the same time, these type of people actually sit the best because they only pick up one pain versus all four. It's really Really, really cool. We've done this a few times. I don't have any recorded data or anything to let you know, but just anecdotal. We've done this before and it was super interesting. We were just like in the four worst places on this person's body, tattooing in unison, no stop for about three hours. And they just kind of like shut down because like it blocked out certain things. Right? They're like, oh my gosh, like this person, it almost feels like I'm getting a back massage, but what you're doing on my shin sucks. So that's all I feel right now. And it was, anyways, really interesting. So. That's clients, right? That's clients. That's how you're going to relax if you're a client. Just think ahead, right? I was going to do two, uh, like client and artist, but I think I'm not going to, right? Because this seems to be good. I can just set this off to the people who want to get a tattoo versus do it and tricks to making you relax. Like, do this. It'll help know who you are, better understand what you're getting yourself into and come prepared and you can have a better tattoo session. Anyways, leave it at that for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.